Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. This is a South Node energy. Somebody's coming out of it. Nine of Swords, yeah. Somebody is tired of being in some type of karmic cycle. The magician here, they're trying to manifest a new beginning after many missed opportunities, being very discontent and bored. This feels like a masculine for sure. All of these cards have a, a, a male on them. The Five of Swords, okay? Someone has been battling, yeah, and this is coming to an end. So I'm picking up on a divine masculine right now. Again, that could be male or female, but I am picking up on this energy for sure. Somebody is sick and tired of being sick and tired, and it feels like there's a major energetic shift. I feel like somebody is, like I said, they're coming into their north node, for sure. The hang, Look at that, the hangman, but it's in the reverse. So the hangman being in the reverse is saying that somebody has been feeling I feel like um, someone has been hanging in this like suspension for so long. Um and this could be due to some type of toxic mindset. Someone could be going through mental health issues. Someone could be in like a victim type of mentality. Whatever the case is, um, I feel like there's about to be a huge awakening. This doesn't have to be just for a masculine. This is just a collective reading. So it's for whoever resonates with it. So whether it's you or someone that you know, if you've been in a victim mentality and, and to say that you're in a victim mentality, that's how a lot of people are because you've been the victim of so many heartbreaking situations however now it's time to shift into that mindset of truly being like um a survivor you know staying in that victim consciousness for too long it can really really block a lot of your blessings in your life but someone here is manifesting there is an offer being made but when you whenever you see the four of cups it's like what exactly are you focusing on? Are you too focused on what's coming towards you to the point that you're you're not recognizing that there's something here still in front of you that you need to address? You know, it, it, somebody could be either focusing on what's coming towards them too much or and, and not actually dealing with something from their past. Or somebody could be too focused on their past and not being focused enough on what's coming towards them. However, this may resonate. But the Four of Cups usually is stating that it's time for you to have a new outlook on life it's time for you to accept all of the things that you honestly just cannot change okay and then the five of swords is here so the five of swords to me that's like to me this is a bully card it's like somebody has been bullied for a long time spiritually bullied OK, or someone here is finally just deciding that it's time to surrender. It's time to walk away from a situation. There's like no way out. There is. There's there's like, honestly, how can I put this? Because I'm, I'm seeing a five of swords in a different deck. And I always say, like, hearts just don't break evenly. It's like everyone needs to walk away from a situation here that's not serving. And it's really nobody walks away necessarily happy. Even the person who feels like they're winning, there is no, there is nothing to gain in a situation here. And then the death card. This is a major transformation that comes from an ending. All right. And here's the four of wands. So someone is going for sure into this four of wands energy. The two of wands, this is making a decision. This is choosing to think bigger, to grow, to expand Every million mile journey starts with the first step. This is taking that first step, making a choice. Somebody here could for sure be making a choice to move, um, to go in a different direction. Page of Pentacles. This could be a job offer. It's some type of new opportunity that's being presented to someone. I'm, I feel like I want to do the reading a little bit different. I'm going to use these and then I'm going to clarify with a different deck. Okay. Judgment, high priestess. See, this is that awakening. Judgment and the high priestess. Somebody is waking up. Somebody is about to make a final decision because someone is recognizing that their, their purpose, even if you don't know exactly what your purpose is, you know that where you are at right now is not where you're supposed to be. So the high priestess speaks of intuition. Okay, the high priestess is someone who trusts themselves. To me, the high priestess is a very modest energy. Someone is far more powerful than they know. 
Yeah, look at that nine of swords and the tower. This is some, somebody that's going through a spiritual awakening, 100%. Someone is a is a natural born high priestess, like a magician. I said this the other day in the community tab. This Pisces full moon is like a party, and a, it's like a, a party and a graduation for your high priests and high priestesses, your earth angels. Because there is a mass awakening and a shift that's taking place. The Four of Cups is being clarified with the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, this is someone here who has been so protective, so defensive because they've been a victim for so long that their heart may be closed. In order for this, um, these spiritual downloads to come in, you have to be in touch with your heart space because you have to be able to feel through things. Your body is going to give you different messages your nature downloads come from so many different things so if you cannot feel anything then you're not receiving the messages that you need for survival and somebody has honestly been in survival mode for so long that they don't even realize that they're not receiving downloads they're not hearing their body they're not tapping into any type of discernment, but this is a, a naturally gifted and wise person. So this could be you, like I said, or someone that you're dealing with. Yeah, there's a shift here. And then the death, death of being in the five of pentacles. So this energy of feeling isolated, having financial problems, being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling like you need some help. Seriously, there's somebody here who definitely has like a victim mentality where they've been waiting a long time for help. Where is my help coming from? Where is the handout coming? Nobody is coming to save anybody. You know, we talk about angels, guys, ancestors, but nobody talks about the type of work that is required of you for you to make that type of connection as a high priest or high priestess. We're all born with, with the spiritual team, but in your life's journey, you have to do the work to connect with them. Like, I don't think that enough people in tarot, we're only here for 30 minutes to, you know, me, you know, I talk a lot. So I'm here for, for an hour. But when you, your spiritual journey, people, they, they talk up this, this spiritual connection. And yeah, a lot of people are born with gifts, but it's just like working out. It's spirituality and spiritual gifts. It's like you have to work it out. It's a muscle. Like You have to work that thing out. It's not going to just boom, you're strong. Like Not necessarily. Your ancestors and guides and spiritual gifts, they don't work unless you work. Faith without work is dead. Like somebody here needs to know. Nobody's coming to say, people will come, you'll get the help and the protection that you need when you start asking for it, when you start doing the work for it, when you start slaying demons, you get, you rank up that way. Somebody doesn't understand spiritual ranking. And it's part of this is like somebody is about to rank up spiritually, but there's also a part of this reading so far where a lot of people, they had no idea how highly ranked you you were, like who you are as a person. Uh, it's like, it gives me that kind of like credit. <laughs> Everybody kind of starts out with a little bit of credit, but you have to build credit, right? It's like you started out with some credit, but where's your trade lines, you know? Somebody could be working on their credit too. <laughs> Since I mentioned that, but a lot of people may be underestimating, you know, it, it's like here in America, because I know everyone that watches me isn't here, but it's like, you know how some people, they have great cash flow, but they have really bad credit. So there's a lot of things that they can, they don't really have access to, you know, it's, you, it's not just cash is, is king, credit is, is king. No, you really need both. So it's just like being very smart logical and analytical but if you don't have any type of intuition and you can discern you're at a loss right if you're intuitive but you don't know how to be discerning when you're given information because you don't know how to analyze it and be tempered and have self-control you're at a loss 
Somebody here needs to work on tempering their energy. That's how you become a very strong magician and manifester. Balancing the feminine and masculine energy, understanding that you are a spiritual being living a human experience. A lot of things won't make sense. Somebody here who operates in black and white, if you if you look at these cards, I'm going to try to tilt this like this. It's like black and white, black and white, black and white, black and white. Somebody's ending and beginning is all black and white. And that's not how life is. Once again, it reminds me of that Libra energy. Very logical. This is this is law and order. Somebody's going to have to realize somewhere in the middle of, of being so logical in your approach. You're going to have to see the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, somebody is waiting for something to come in. Six of cups. Something from childhood. I feel like, again, this is a, a spiritual strength or gift that someone has had since childhood. Absolutely. Ace of Cups here is clarifying. Like I said, the heart chakra needs to be open. Somebody has been blocking love, and love is what's going to actually allow someone to open themselves up to everything that the universe is trying to offer. Ace of Swords. I'm... Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. This also... Oh, I just noticed. I looked at this deck over here and you have, look, the temperance in the reverse. What did I just say? Somebody, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody here is like an earth angel, but they haven't gotten it to their strength. So if I hold this upright, this is an earth angel. Look, and I said before, it's like a divine masculine. Lots of Leo, wow, hold on. That's the double sun. It's two suns in here. The strength card, which is the lion here and the temperance. This is, Somebody was born very, very strong. A very, very gifted person. But somebody, this is a masculine. This person's toxic mindset or being in this victim consciousness or whatever, it's it's really ruining them. But And I feel like now this person is about to get some kind of clarity here. Where they're going to see that their beliefs about something is wrong and when they address this that's when they'll be able to finally get rid of this toxic behavior someone has been in a very in and out like toxic behavior very fickle hot and cold will of fortune nothing is it's nothing is moving for this person it's because of a mindset hold on this okay I, I, see, I wasn't going to use that deck. I just happened to glance over at it. But look, somebody here is waiting on a spiritual inheritance to come in. It, it's their clarity. Ace of Cups sometimes can actually speak of um, something like, like a, a, a spiritual download, a spiritual gift. Someone has a gift of sight or this this could be a masculine who's actually like a psychic or a seer yeah but the, <laughs> this lack mentality poverty mindset or whatever always playing the victim is why this person can't see anything this this person is supposed to be like a life transformer a, a world i just heard world overcomer but this person has been trapped this person stays trapped in fear and illusions. I'm just very curious as to what is going to happen to force. This person is going to be forced to see some type of truth. Yeah, because this is a real earth angel. Somebody here is being forced right now to step into their divinity. The sun. And you see how this, this person here is just kind of sitting there like they have forever. Spirit is like, you don't have forever to get on your, your path or your journey. Like, what are you doing? This person is somebody here. Oh, my goodness. There's an extremely powerful person here that is childish. This person is very, very strong, very courageous naturally, but they're not tapping into this energy. This is an actual like divine masculine. 100%. King of Wands here, 
temperance. I don't know. This Sagittarius energy has really been coming out. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It's this fire energy. This King of Wands, though, this person, they keep getting stuck. It could have something to do with their wand. So there could be a masculine out here that because of their choice in partners or, or a misuse of their sexual energy or something like that, they're constantly falling victim to being like trapped in the matrix. But the page of pentacles is here. So with this page of pentacles being here, this is a, it's, 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 an offer it's an opportunity something is being presented to this person somebody here has been tested too i'm i'm saying this slightly different something about this page of pentacles somebody here let me tell you what's going on there is a masculine out here who they this person is not karmic but they could have been in some type of karmic situation this, this person is through and through like thoroughly bred as a divine masculine however this person has been tempted or got themselves locked into some type of karmic situation something that was dark that was not of light they could have done this knowingly or unknowingly consciously or unconsciously however but I feel like the devil may have offered somebody something like, hey, you know, do this or do that. Somebody here has been tested or they will be tested very soon. And this person, it's like some their spiritual gifts or downloads are going to be triggered by whatever this offer is that's coming from something that is of a very low vibration. And this devil, just as quickly as the devil offers this person something, they're caught. See, just as quickly as the devil tries to offer this person something, they're caught. And this is what is going to open up this abundance. It feels like the devil keeps on trying to spiritually bully a particular masculine. Like, if you need to go this way or do this, will of fortune. Now, I see the Knight of Wands here and the Queen of Wands with the magician this could be a karmic feminine somewhere that someone has been connected to yeah because the wheel of fortune in the reverse is right underneath this strength card this this same i hate to say it but the same possible leo this karmic feminine this is a jezebel energy this person has has really tried to capture captivate and corrupt this divine masculine and I feel like this person comes in very, very beautiful, like they are this free-spirited, um, sexy, smart, ambitious type of person. But you literally have here the magician card. This could have been some type of magic that was done. But the sun is here. This person may have went. Yeah, this person did. This masculine was in a connection for a while with this queen of wands they were a match okay this king of wands was was the one that was taking losses though while this queen of wands was gaining favor this queen of wands was an energy vampire who was taking the energy from this king of wands because the king of wands is is a hundred percent a divine masculine this divine masculine got it got caught up with the devil in a dress yeah this person was manifesting off of this individual. Now, here is this star high priestess. It feels to me like God literally put an angel in someone's life at the perfect time because they were about to either get caught in the matrix or they they got out of the matrix and they were going back in. God all of a sudden just put this high priestess who could see behind the veil in this person's life. And that's what shattered this contract. Somebody here was almost, almost, like they say, a goner. Yeah. Somebody, the devil saw that this person had something to offer and he came for it. Because the problem is, is that whoever this masculine is, they're not fully awakened and aware. So right when they got up and got like their first pentacle, the devil was waiting.
Like, oh yeah, let me let me come and get that. Let me come collect. And I feel like the Hierophant, this is to me like in, in this particular reading, this is God like, wait a minute. Devil, sit down. You, you're you not going to put your hands on, on that one. He, This person may not be fully awakened and aware, but no, you touch not my anointed. You, you can't have that one. This Jezebel really tried it though. But this person was able to hold on to their divinity. They were able to hold on to it because... Again, there is a, a feminine out here who's not in the matrix. Literally, there is a divine feminine out here, I feel, who was like an earth angel who came in and told this person, you need to get something or someone out of your energy. If this hasn't happened, it will happen. And I feel like this masculine is realizing, hmm, this, this earth angel-like being, they're free. They're liberated. They're not going through all of this stuff that I'm going through, so... Maybe they know what they're talking about. King of Swords, once again, like this Libra energy. Somebody here is seeing now that like they really need to move away from the situation and they don't need to look back. This is a major spiritual lesson, though. So like I said, this could be you. You're guiding somebody or this is. You being guided by somebody, however it resonates. But somebody literally was about to make an offer or receive something and the devil was coming in to snatch it. And thankfully, it's like this high priestess earth angel came in and made sure that somebody did not sign on the dotted line with the devil. Somebody was about to sign a contract with the devil and they didn't even know it. This could have been somebody, I'm, I'm seeing this very clearly, somebody was about to marry somebody. And I feel like the, the, or they were about to get into something. There was a contractual agreement. Like it could have been a marriage, somebody getting a lease, starting a business with somebody. Somebody was about to do something that was going to tie them in with another person, both financially and spiritually. Something happened where God was like, hold on, let me, let me just bust all this up. And I feel like a person who I'm, I'm i'm getting all of these down somebody who was labeled as a karmic is actually somebody's earth angel spirit guide possible counterpart i don't know for sure if these people are meant to be together because just because you go in and you help a person to grow and understand that doesn't mean that you're meant to be in a relationship with that person but god literally put like an angel on someone's path to make sure that this person did not get burned by the, the fire. This is really, really amazing. I just wonder if this masculine, like when, where, why, how are they going to wake up and actually see? Like, do they realize what has happened here? Because it's like somebody doesn't, someone, I don't know if this is spell work or what, but somebody could not see the fact that someone in their life is real dirty, real shady. It's truly like their enemy. They they could not see it or they can't see it. And it literally took another person to come in to destroy a contract that they were about to willingly get themselves into. The the level this feels like spell work. Yeah. I don't know this emperor I don't know if it fell upright or in the reverse. But here is the star. I'm going to take it upright. This emperor here. I feel like something was activated. Somebody's spirit guys or something was activated. I'm not going to hold this up. But you see this star standing upright. This could be a feminine that's actually in a masculine energy or a feminine and someone's guy, like ancestors or guys came in to call judgment on the situation. Yeah, because this person was in victim mode. This person was just like, it's like somebody was on free, like frozen, like frozen in time, just could not see anything. This It's, it's like somebody was in a trance, like they... 
couldn't see anything happening or this is going on right now it's some of it seems past some of it seems current of course it could be a few but somebody is frozen in time like they don't see anything happening this has to be spell work it has to be literally somebody is just frozen like they're not moving they're not shaking they don't see anything somebody is under a a, a serious spell And it could have been that like a karmic energy put somebody under like a love spell so that they only see them. This has to be like domination or something. Like you you only do as I say. Somebody was trying to dominate and control someone's mind to make them honestly pretty like sell their soul because when you sell your soul, that just means like somebody wanted a, another divine being to give them their divine blessing, whatever it is. And that's how you have to be careful because sometimes people, you're in relationships, you will start to do so much stuff for another person and you're giving a little piece of your soul every time you go against what you know you should be doing to fit in with somebody. Somebody here was real close to like completely selling their soul. Like they was just giving little bit, bits and pieces of it because they were in the situation and it just, it was not aligned at all. This person was like yanked out of their south node. God was like, what are you doing? Like wake up. But it feels like again, this high priestess energy came in. Either this was a spirit guide, an angel, some type of divine protector a healer, okay, a lover, a, a new lover counterpart. Somebody came in and was like, wake up and broke this illusion off of this person. If this is if this is you that broke this illusion off of this person, you you have great gifts and favor from God from doing for doing this. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is falling underneath this magician and the King of Wands. This Queen of Wands did magic on this King of Wands. This is um, somebody who wanted a relationship with this King of Wands. They did magic. And then this Queen of Pentacles, who I feel is this High Priestess or Queen of Cups, came in and was like, yeah, look, look, think about it. The Queen of Wands did magic on the King of Wands because the King of Wands has a gift. The King of Wands has a gift that they're not aware of, but the Queen of Pentacles is someone who has a, the same gift or a similar gift, but they're a queen, meaning they're more evolved. Somebody's like, hold on, don't go and give your gift away. So I feel like the Queen of Pentacles came in and was like, yo, <laughs> what, what, what are you doing with that pentacle over there? Because you're about to go, you're about to give it to this devil. You're about to give it to this devil in a dress that you think you love, whether it's a friend, family member, or whomever. The Queen of Pentacles had to pop up and say, hello, do you not see that you're under an illusion about the Queen of Wands? And then the masculine woke up. So now the masculine is going through a death and a transformation. He wants his pentacle now. Now he's taking a leap of faith, doing the healing work and the introspection. He's seeing that his emotions for somebody were a lie. Now he wants to put something to an end. So a divine feminine, most likely who happens to be like a true divine being has caused a masculine to wake up completely from the illusion that was cast over them by this Jezebel like energy, this queen of wands. This person is realizing that they never even had true love for this person. Now they're being forced to go through the dark night of the soul with the hermit being Virgo here in Virgo energy. This person is before the hangman was in the reverse. In two different decks, the hangman was in the reverse. Meaning this person literally was the victim of a Jezebel. And they didn't know. Queen of Pentacles came in and was like, do you realize that you're, you're dealing with a Jezebel or a karmic? Or your life is at a standstill and everything is in limbo because of this person or this situation in your life? Have you not noticed that? I feel like somebody literally is like helping somebody check the box. This could be someone, someone going to therapy or something like that as well. Somebody is like, you saved me. I'm hearing that Jamie Foxx song, You Changed Me. Somebody's name could be Jamie. 
makes me think about you know recently everybody was talking about that uh, movie I guess that Jamie Foxx did they cloned Tyrone so it's almost like someone's yeah maybe someone someone's energy was being cloned by a karmic um anytime I channel something I try to you changed me I think that's what it's called and it has Jamie, it's Jamie Foxx and Chris Brown. He says, ain't no sense in front when you know I got a thing for you. Ain't no other girls of mine. It's me and you, baby. I love you. Used to be the kind of guy I never wanted to settle down because you changed me. Yeah, you changed me. Said I never settled down. I'm with you, girl. Look at me now. Because you changed me, baby. I'm a player for life. You switched that up. You switched all that up in one night. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody here at one point. Remember I said that before? Somebody's wand. Somebody laid down with a Jezebel. And that Jezebel cloned their energy. Harvested it. Did magic on them. Almost destroyed their entire life. Thank goodness this person ran into some type of divine being, a therapist, a counselor, high priest, high priestess, or whomever. This person, whoever has helped this masculine, now they want to settle down with this person. Or they're just on the track now to think about settling down and no longer living a certain lifestyle. I don't know for some of you, if, if you resonate with this, I don't know if this is your person or not. Um... But you said or, or done something that is showing this person the light. This person is freeing themselves now. But I feel like this person is very disappointed because of this shattered illusion with this Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, I feel for sure somebody out here was nearly about to like marry somebody. Or they were married to someone. Definitely could have been living with a person or something like that. And they're like, wow, I was literally about to throw like my entire life down the drain yeah and it's all now they go from a page from the page to the night now this person is about to have some kind of spiritual download with this pentacle and it, it's like it's got them out of control this person is spazzing out right now because they don't like for them to regain consciousness is what i'm getting somebody if you're romantically connected to this person or if you meet this person in the future this person once they start when this black magic or whatever starts to wear off them they're not going to even know how to handle their own energy they're not they're going to be like what is this i feel like this person is going to get like a boost of energy all of a sudden they're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like who is this who is this because i'm telling you, this person is about to get and you, you know, a lot of you, like 90% of my viewers are women. <laughs> you know how it is when you meet men, and it, it happens to women too, who will go through like a healing process really, really fast. And it's like, all of a sudden, they're like a new person, just overnight. Somebody here is like seeing the light. You know how you will see a guy that's a, like a player? <laughs> They'll meet somebody all of a sudden, like, you know, they're, they're praying, they're at church, Bible study. They really want to be settled down. And everybody's like, what happened to that person? This person, literally, I'm telling you, that's the kind of energy here. Because this person was a nat, this person was born as a golden child, naturally. That's who they are. 100%. This, this is a divine masculine through and through. Nobody can take that from them. They, this person signed a contract to 100% be a divine masculine. But they had to meet this queen of wands on their path to teach them about discernment. This person was hurt by this queen of wands too. That's why the seven of wands is out here. They met this person and their heart just completely shut down. But this, so this one situation, for some of you, this king of wands is not with this person but that person put some kind of hex on this divine masculine so that they can't love anybody. I'm seeing like the Little Mermaid now. How like Ursula cursed 
Ariel, but it was it was like she she had to make the the prince would have had to have kissed her in three days, even without her voice. Remember, I was saying the high priestess is very modest. That's why you always see the high priestess. She she's covered. She's modest. Somebody is falling in love with the the modesty, the true essence of a person. It's not based on lust. This is someone who falls for lustful situations. Even as a divine being, we all have our shortcomings. This person has fallen for superficial things, things that were that they were lusting after. Somebody here now that they've met true, like they're encountering true love, like a real divine being, it's changing their entire life. This person is like, uh-uh, I gotta do this, I gotta do I'm when they get when this black magic comes off of this person, and it's the love that's making the black magic come off of this person. They're getting control of their own mind. This person now, they could have had everything. When you see this particular death card, this person, like you see them dra like draped in nice linens and all this stuff. This person could lose everything. And I feel like now they're getting crazy downloads. Why? Because of this Queen of Pentacles. They're like, wow, what is, <laughs> look at this. This card was turned over in the deck. That's the message, the lovers. So this is somebody's counterpart. Mm -hmm. The tower, cancer could be significant. That moon energy, it's the illusion. I've been talking about this Cancer Leo person. Cancer Leo, it's a Cancer Leo Virgo out here. That's highly aspected in someone's birth chart. Something here is not moving forward. And this masculine is now trying to put their life back together because, like I said, they ran into a high priestess who told them to put their guard up to get their wings back. This person almost lost their angel wings playing around with a karmic. And now they're like, what? It was never even real. Now this person is quickly going after union with their true counterpart. Quickly. Because the magic is wearing off. I think I did a reading earlier this week and I said love wins every time. Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. This person could have a lot of Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in their chart, as well as fire. I'm getting air. I'm sorry. This masculine, yeah. This masculine could have fire and Capricorn in their chart. This person is something about their north, their um north and south node. Six of Wands, but victory and success is coming. This person is going to make you some kind of offer. They're they're learning how to create things now. The Page of Cups can also speak of um, sometimes, like I said, for me lately, um, Cups have have had more to do with spiritual growth and development than than love. Um, because for me, when, with your spiritual journey, becoming more self-aware through self-love is what really brings in true love. Oh, wow. Page of Cups of Sun. Six of Swords. There's two sixes. The Sun is out here three times. And then Justice, y'all, wow. Didn't I say at the beginning, the Hierophant? Didn't I say at the beginning about Libra? Page of Swords. Somebody is learning. Somebody is looking at you as the one that they want to celebrate. And most likely when, whenever you see Justice and the Hierophant together. In this energy, this is a marriage. You know what's so crazy, y'all? That Jamie, that song that I just channeled. My best friend, one of my closest friend, one of my closest friends, when she got married, this was several years ago. I know for a sure fact 
that one of her first, one of their dances was to that song. And it just hit me like, bam, because of this three of cups here. This is a successful marriage that's going to happen. If somebody is dropping all of their baggage. They're remembering exactly who they are. And they're they're seeing you now as, as marriage material. Because this person, I just keep hearing it in my head. They're like, you saved me. You helped this person close out some type of cycle in their life. Because the Queen of Cups, because of you loving them. The Queen of Cups, High Priestess. Pisces energy. Pisces full moon is coming up in three days. Somebody's about to have a very powerful download or epiphany about a divine feminine. And this person, King of Pentacles, who once could have been greedy, superficial, all about the money, um, stuck in their ways, very stubborn creature of habit. This person is about to walk away from and, and drop a lot of burdens with this Ten of Wands to have a partnership because all they're doing now, shh, all this person can do is dream about this high priestess, divine feminine. It's like it's, it has become a dream. It has become a fantasy. They want equal give and take. And what did I say to you before about the Libra scales? King of Swords, Libra Energy, Archangel Michael, and what is that? The scales, justice. What is that? Libra energy. Some of you, your counterpart, they they're a Libra. If this is a masculine, this masculine is either a Libra or they have Libra highly aspected in their chart. And then you have two nines here: nine, nine, nine of Pentacles, nine of Cups. So this means that in this situation, you're going to have with the Pentacles security, stability, um, financial gains. Nine of Pentacles, that's enjoying the fruits of your labor, a luxurious, some of you, you're saying you want soft life. This person will make sure you have a soft life. Nine of Cups is here. That is emotional fulfillment, wish come, like a wish come true. Somebody is like, my cup is full. Y'all, when I show you these next two cards, the star, Ten of Pentacles. So somebody is seeing you as marriage material. They're like, the only person that divine feminine is missing is me. Divine feminine is like, the only person I'm missing is, is that person. If you notice, there's a man on this card and a woman on this card. Divine feminine, maybe you're, you're wanting someone that has great finances or right now you're in a great financial situation. But when these two energies come together, spirit is saying the, the, the star it brings hope. It's a miracle. And it's a Ten of Pentacles. Whatever journey you've been on for the last seven to ten years or four to seven years, Four of Pentacles, this Divine Mask has been bound for a while now. That's all about to change the chariot. And I feel like it's changing because you're, you told this masculine something or you're going to. You and this person are already a match made in heaven and spirit and you're coming together to work together. So for some of you, it's a business partnership. For some of you, it's a relationship at the bottom of the deck, the 10 of swords, the hard times are over and this three of swords, this third party situation, this heartbreak, whatever. Yeah. The schemes, the scandals, this Jezebel energy spirit is calling judgment on it. It's over. This was all part of a, of the journey for someone to become awakened and aware that it's certain people you need to stay away from. It's certain people you need to stop trusting. It's certain things you need to stop doing with this sexual misuse of energy or whatever this is, whatever this pattern of behavior that's toxic, somebody has to come out of it. Literally, God is like, I made you and this person to go together and both of you are about to get in your north node. So what I'm getting here is somebody, Pisces energy with this full, um, full moon in Pisces. And you know what? I, I, I have a reading about this. Well, I said it's like a high priestess and a spiritual judge. It's like a legacy builder and a generational curse breaker. You and this person are very different. But in the underworld, y'all are not to be played with at all. No, not in, in the spirit realm. No. I said the underworld. This person, I feel like something was trying to grab this person. 
or perhaps both of you, the same thing could have happened to, to you on your spiritual journey, but you made it out. Or this person made it out and they're about to pull you out. Somebody is about to pull their counterpart from out of some type of stronghold, a, a magical illusion, something. Somebody, and I feel like God is like, no, you both have to get into your North Node now. It's something shifting and it has to do with North Nodes. Someone could have a North Node in Libra, meaning they're a, like a spiritual judge and it may, like Archangel Michael who has that sword. This person can can cut through BS, but it's like this person, they weren't using their sword because they were under a spell or an illusion or this person, they were just stuck in a karmic cycle and they didn't even realize it. <laughs> I'm just looking at the lyrics of this song. It says, you know what I'm missing? Fiending for your kisses all night on my phone. When you talk, I listen. Yeah, this person is, they, it's somebody that's just like, I said, I would never settle down. They ran into you and they're like, no, I, I changed my mind. <laughs> this person is having a whole awakening because of this high priest. They're like, no, I changed my mind. I'll settle down. <laughs> this is when you meet a person and it's like, seriously, in for some of you in a, in a time period of like three to um, nine, the number nine is significant. The number three is significant. Three six nine. Also, like the you know, some people speak of the three six nine manifestation method. You and this person have both been manifesting one another. <clears throat> there was some healing that I'm telling you. God is like, oh yeah, you're about to get your life together right now because your divine feminine or divine masculine, they need you to show up. Like I, it's a very stern energy, and this is like the the energy of God. God is like, I don't care if you're ready or not. You're about to get ready. So what God is doing is like, I'm about to put your um your life partner right there in your path, and I dare you to mess it up. <laughs> it's like it's that type of energy. Like I dare you. I wish you would mess this situation up. Yeah, because somebody here either they've been betrayed or they were. Um, the type two betray someone. This is a feminine energy on here. This same toxic feminine energy, but someone had to, this divine masculine had to go through this situation with this Jezebel like energy for self growth to learn lessons. But see, divine feminine, you most likely have gone through the same situation. You've had the same karmic lesson within a few months. A few being maybe three months. This person is going to be loyal to you. They have a passion for you and they're very honest. Look at that mirroring. Look at them as if they're you. That's what I'm saying. You're a high priestess. So whatever this person is going through in their shadow phase, most likely you've already gone through it or vice versa. Some of you, you could be the divine feminine and you're having an awakening. You could be meeting a masculine. They've already gone through what you're going through this person here is making plans they're planning to come towards you very soon look it says pay attention to your dreams this person could be having dreams about you coming soon somebody here has been wearing a mask keeping secrets y'all i'm so done i'm about to throw these cards life partner forever potential every time you see deception it's not a bad thing somebody has is hiding the fact that they literally want to be with you for the rest of their life most likely that's the divine masculine and spirit is saying please just surrender just trust the process here you guys this for a lot of you it's not a, it doesn't have to be a past person this is someone you have a past life with most likely and they're you've been put on their path or they're being put on your path you could know this person now or you're going to meet them soon within the next few months this is your person. This is the person that God has handpicked and delivered to you. So, please, you, I don't, I don't get that this is for a lot of you. You know, if it's a past person, it's somebody who they've always known your worth. I must, maybe they're coming back. You know, completely changed. But for some of you, this is somebody new. 
they're coming in like they want a new chapter because they're in their higher self now they're free from something and self-love is leading to building a future uh oh because this is a connection between two people that have ascended there's clarity yeah law of attraction it's it's a very high vibe, high vibing connection. Those cards were just flipped flipped over like they just flipped over and out. Let's see what comes out with the shuffle. Accountability. Yeah, somebody has to take accountability because this is someone who was naturally born. Like I said, this is like a naturally a, a natural born divine feminine or masculine who doesn't realize that due to their lustful energy and connecting in a certain relationship they literally were about to it's like selling pieces of your soul because somebody was very superficial but this is a type of person who they don't see themselves as being superficial but it's like if you go and you connect your if you choose to be unequally yoked with somebody you can't sit there and think that god doesn't see that you know, this is the kind of person that's convincing themselves that, oh no, I'm not, I'm not like that. But birds of a feather flock together, you are like that. There's a part of you that is like that because you dealt with it. That's what you were willing to deal with. You can't go and be in a relationship with someone or love somebody or especially marry a person that's of a very low vibration and then say, well, I'm nothing like that. So you're telling me that when that person goes out and commits crime, that because you didn't commit the crime, you're saying you don't agree with it. You're covering that person spiritually in all of their bad doing, all of their bad behavior. So I feel like God was like, listen, let me get you out of this situation before you mess around here and sell your soul to the devil dealing with this Jezebel. Now this person has to turn a new leaf completely. But until they choose to love themselves and actually take accountability for the fact that at some point they were sleeping with their own enemy they're going to be left out in the cold. This is somebody that does not want to take accountability. And God is like, seriously, you have to take accountability at some point. So let me show you what a high priestess looks like. And I feel like now this person is receiving some kind of emotional support. And they're like, oh, so this is what a soulmate feels like. Because before somebody was going towards a situation and it wasn't a soulmate connection. They were lying to themselves. There wasn't a soul. There wasn't your soulmate. This was somebody that went towards something because of the look of it. The looks and the lust of it had nothing to do with their divine contract. Now they're being forced. <laughs> like spirit is like, move. Go this way. Go that way. No, stop. So this is good.